Okay, let's continue from last video. Um, as you can see, I've already deleted um, the platform I had. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly show you guys how to actually make it quickly. So um, here I'm going to go from the middle part, uh, zero, zero. I'm going to hold shift. I'm going to drag and as big as I want. I'm going to zoom out a little bit and then control F will just fill it. So now we can see our uh, field here has been filled. And now what I can do is I can you know, make the field I had before. Uh, we'll just make a small one. So we'll actually uh, delete that. Whoops. A little hard to edit, but I can just, there we go. Delete that by clicking delete and go straight. Whoops. I'll just do this. You know what? I can do this with shift. So control F and then end. Uh, we'll do, what is it, S? Yeah, S to rotate it. And then oh, we'll just do it like that. And now uh, we can see here is our little field. Okay, so let's continue from there. Okay, so the, there's a few things we're going to add. The first thing is going to be our camera. We're going to add our camera. And for our camera, I'm just going to copy in the settings I have for my game. And it's going to be, we're going to go to the transform. We're going to go to position 12. We're going to do six and two, I believe. Yeah. And then position rotation is going to be negative 50 and the Y is going to be 90. Now keep in mind, this is going to be different. So you might want to change the position depending on the map you have. So let's play and see what we have. So uh, select current. Sure. Well, I probably will want to make this current. So let's make that current. Let's replay. Okay, there we go. So we can see our thing. Obviously, it doesn't look very nice yet, but that's okay. So let's actually zoom this out a little bit. So let's move this and see what we have. Okay, that, that doesn't seem too bad. Okay, one other thing I'm actually going to do is I'm going to fill the outside grid. So let's, let's actually fill out away from the... Field, so that way we have like something to look at in the background essentially so we're not just looking at space okay so now one more thing we're going to do is we're going to add what light do i have i have omni light i'm going to add omni light and the nice thing about this is that it doesn't need a texture so i'm going to edit all of these settings so the uh, energy was going to be 11 sorry 11 um ooh, i think that might be it yeah okay um and the range is going to be 69, uh -huh, 69, uh, just because we want it really big and we're just going to get it to cover everything. And so now when I play, I'm going to take the Omni guy, I'm going to go to transform and I'm going to transform this guy to 13. Actually, I think that's just 13. Yeah. Okay. So now let's replay. And now we can see the light. Uh, I'm going to drag this to the side so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to drag it a little higher, I think. And I'm going to move the X position and then I'm going to take the camera and move this slightly more. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Actually one more. And then I'm going to take the rotation and actually rotate it a little bit more. Okay. Okay. And so this is what we have. So we now have a little field. It doesn't look perfect. In fact, you might want to rotate it anywhere else on you that you want. You can rotate it to the side here so that it's looking down from the left into the field. That would probably be better actually, but um, this is fine for now. I can actually switch it later and maybe I'll do that off camera. But for now, this is good. Um, let's continue on. So there's a few more things we're going to have to do before we end this video. Let's, uh, let's create some things. Let's create a tower first. Um, Actually, no, I lied. Let's create our, what do you call them? Boom, boom, boom. The path, the path spawner guys. So when it comes to the, not the towers, the mobs, let's create those. So for the mobs, what we're going to do is we're going to basically create a path 3D. So what we're going to do is going to go to path 3D. We're going to create a path follow. 
And then in the path, I think 3D, what we can do is we can just go to the path 3D. We can see on the top, we can go to transform, add point, and it's just a straight line. So this is really easy. So we'll just add a straight line uh, here. Uh, actually, let's do it down up and then we'll add one here. And then we'll add one here and then kind of rotate around it. And as you can see, the Y value is not proper. So what we're going to have to do is edit these um, to be exact, kind of. So we're going to have to edit the Y to be a little higher, as you can see, a little lower. And you can kind of edit them where you want it to be perfectly. And let's go to point number two, zoom out a little bit. Point number two, we'll bring that up a little bit. And that's where we want that to be. Okay, and then from the path follow to 3D, we're going to add a UFO. And that UFO is going to be a, uh, not kinematic, character, because they changed it. Character body 3D. We're going to rename this to UFO. I'm going to save it. Uh, I'm going to make a folder for it called mobs. Uh, mobs. There we go. Let's save it in here. We now have UFO. Uh, let's add a collision body, collision shape. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Collision shape. We're also going to quickly add a mesh UFO or a mesh instance. Um, I think we can just add the mesh and then set it. So let's do that. So mesh instance uh, 3D. I think it's mesh instance, right? Yeah. Just double check my reference. Uh, I'm going to drag this up. I'm going to add the UFO first. So I think I can just search up UFO. And then you can now add whichever one you want. I think I use the object again. Yeah, I use the object. So we're gonna have to scroll down to the object. Uh, I use the red one, so I'm gonna use the red one again. Actually, no, I'm gonna use a different one. Let's do, let's do the purple one. Yeah, let's do yellow, I, I wanna do yellow. So for this one, I'm gonna drag the yellow in. Um, actually, I can just delete the old mesh instance. You can just drag the one on the screen or um, in the future, you can just drag it here. Uh, either one is fine. Okay, so let's give this a shape. Let's give it a cylinder shape and then let's just, whoop. Let's turn off the smart snap so we can actually edit this properly. There we go. So if that's ever happening to you guys, you just have to turn off the smart snap. So just in case you don't know. Okay, so now we have the collision shape kind of in the saucer. You can add more collision to it to make it have like a little ball as well, whatever you want. But for now, this is okay. The, the collision for this guy is just going to be the collision for the bullet and it's gonna be, be able to detect a bullet hitting itself. So that's all we really need. Okay, let's close the UFO. Let's close the grid map. We don't need that. And then now let's drag the UFO into this guy. So now we have the UFO as a child of the path. Let's call this uh, stage one. So let's rename this to stage one. And then let's hope I can figure this out. Um, there should be, I think if I right click it, we can instantiate child scene. I think it's this one. No, it's not this one. Sorry. Um, one of these things. I believe. Expand at child node. No, is that it? Set resource. I think it might just be file. Um, save scene. Nope. New inherit scene. New inherited scene. There should be a save. Wait, let me save this. Where is it? Save branch as scene. Oh my God. Okay. I'm so smart. Okay. <laughs> Save branch as scene. I'll, I'll do that one more time just so you guys got it. Okay. So we're going to go to, to right click it. We're going to do uh, save branch as scene and that's going to allow us to save it as a separate scene. So now we now have mob one. And the reason why we do this is because we're going to close this. We're going to go to stage one and we're going to delete it. Well, I'm not going to delete the name. We're going to actually delete the, the node itself. And what we're going to do instead is we're going to add a node 3D. We're going to add a timer. And then in this guy, we're going to call it, what do I call it in my thing? I want to keep it consistent. We're going to call it a uh, path spawner and we're going to add a script to this guy. It's not going to be built in because um, why not? We're going to add a timeout. We're going to connect it. And what we're going to do is we're going to reload our path. So let me actually just edit this because I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's wrong. So let's delete the path and let's drag in the new path. So we're going to preload the path of the stage. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to add it as a child every time the timer goes off. So now, here we go. We have a timer that adds a new 
uh, path every time. So sorry, a little bit back to 3D. And it should add it at the default um, settings of transform. So it'll be 0, 0, 0. It doesn't matter. Um, one other thing we have to do is put this on auto start. And now when we play, we should have things spawning in every second, but nothing's moving. So let's fix that. Let's um, fix that in the stage. So in the stage, what we have to do is we have to add a script to the UFO. So let's add a script to the UFO. And ooh, let's actually delete that. We don't want, actually, you know what, whatever. Okay, sorry. We'll just delete this manually. Let's delete all this. We don't need any of that. What we really want is all this. Okay, so uh, I'll delete this. So we're going to have a variable speed. We're going to export it because that way we'll be able to change it later. Um, we're going to have health, which will be uh, important later on. We're going to have a path. Uh, we're going to, the variable path is just going to be the path above it. So that way we can just reference it really easily. And when we die, it's just going to get the parent, um, path get parent, which is stage one, this guy, and Q3. So there's two different ways to die. Either the health hits zero, which we're not going to do in this video, or we're going to get the progress of the path above us and see if it's above 0 0.99, meaning we've essentially finished. Okay, so now what we can do is we can play. And as you can see, when it spawns, it's going to start play, uh, running along the path. And once it reaches the end, which I'll wait for, it should take two seconds, it'll queue free. Boom, there and it disappears. And so you can edit the path very easily that way in the in the actual stage. So you can take this guy, uh, the stage one, you can go into the curve and edit the, oh no, there we go, the points right here, however you want. So you can edit like 3.5, you can do whatever you want, right? So it becomes very easy to edit them. So I think you can even just drag it. Yeah, but uh, I'll leave it like that. So there you go. That is it for this video, guys. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, it was kind of a drag. I, I was, I'm recording this kind of late. It's like 8 p.m., um, which is kind of late for me. Um, my voice is really tired and dead and my brain is dead. I've been studying all week, um, but I, I really wanted to push out some more content for you guys. Um, I want to continue this series because I think it'd be, it's really cool to go from 2D to 3D, um, not just for me, but for you guys as well, because I think that's a very cool skill. Um, I'm not going to add anything yet, but um, that's it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video, um, comment down below what you guys would like to see next. Subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Um, and I have a Twitch down below that you should definitely check out. I have a Discord that you should definitely follow or uh, join. Join my Discord. I would love to see you guys there. And I have a Patreon. And that is it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.